Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. This is episode number eight of the water cycle and water insecurity revision unit over here on my channel. Today we're going to be looking at water insecurity and the causes of it. So do stick around if that's what you're after. Subscribe down below if you like these videos, it really helps me out. And I upload one of these every week so it means that you wouldn't miss out. So yeah, share it with a friend, share it with someone you think might find it useful and let's get into this. A global water crisis. The UN's annual World Water Development reports repeatedly warn that the balance between human demand and the availability of water is at a precarious point. The lack of fresh water is emerging as the biggest challenge of the 21st century. Access to safe water for people is seen as both a fundamental need and a basic human right. But for too many people, it still represents part of their daily struggle. Water shortages and a lack of access to safe water causes serious problems for a third of the world's population. A growing mismatch. Is there enough water for everyone? In theory, there is no global water shortage. Only 50% of available water is actually used. However, rapid population growth in areas where supplies are limited, together with an uneven distribution of a global supply and a deterioration in water quality, means that more people are facing severe water shortages. A water gap exists between the haves and the have-nots, as wealthy nations consume greater and greater quantities of water. The supporting data are alarming. 12% of the world's population consumes 85% of its water. 1.8 billion lack clean drinking water, 2.4 billion lack adequate sa sanitation, and 0.7 billion face water shortages. Every 90 seconds, a child dies from a waterborne disease. 0.8 million people die from diarrhoea as a result of dirty water each year. 25% of people drink water contaminated with faeces. Half of the world's rivers and lakes are badly polluted, and half of the rivers no longer flow all year. Food supplies are also threatened as water shortage increases. In water impoverished areas, women and children spend many hours a day collecting water. Expressed in terms of how much they could earn at the same time, this translates to 24 billion US dollars lost in economic benefits each year and denies girls a good education. Stress and scarcity. As the global population increases, the number affected by water stress and water, and water scarcity are expected to rise sharply. By 2025, the combination of population growth and economic growth is expected to have a 20% increase in demand for water supplies. But by then, half the world's population will be living in water deficit areas. When a country's water consumption exceeds 10% of its renewable fresh water supply, it is said to be water stressed. This means that it has less than 1,700 metres cubed of water available per person per year, which can cause temporary shortages. When the amount falls between 100 metres cubed per person per year, a country experiences water, sh water scarcity. This can threaten food supplies, reduce economic development and cause environmental damage. Causes of water insecurity. People's health, welfare and livelihoods depend on secure, fresh water supply. But high demand and the misuse of water resources put these at risk. Regional insecurities vary. Asia and the Pacific. Critical health problems. A third of the population lacks access to safe drinking water. There are 500,000 diarrhea-related infant deaths a year in Asia. Water pollution. The level of bacterial waste from human sources is 10 times greater than recommended levels. Overuse. Agriculture uses 90% of fresh water withdrawals in South Asia. Salinity and arsenic from industrial pollution affect 60% of the groundwater supplies across the, the Indo-Gangetic Basin. 750 million people cannot drink or use groundwater for irrigation. Aquifer depletion in Asia led to a drop in water availability from 10,000 cubic metres per capita in the 1950s to less than 3,700 cubic metres in 2010. Withdrawals in West Africa exceed natural replenishment. A billion gallons of raw sewage is dumped into the Ganges each day. 42% of China's sewage and 45% of its industrial waste is dumped into the Yangtze River each year. 
China only has 6% of the world's fresh water. Europe and Central Asia. A lack of access to clean drinking water in Eastern Europe and Central Asia. Increasing water consumption with half of Europe's cities overexploiting their groundwater reserves. And they suffer from declining water quality in countries with groundwater pollution from nitrates, pesticides, heavy metals and hydrocarbons such as the Aral Sea, the Mediterranean and the Scandinavian lakes. North America. Aquifer depletion is increasing due to both population and urban growth and the expansion of irrigation and industry. Changes in rainfall in California, blamed on El Nino and climate change, have led to drought, declining groundwater supplies and falling reservoirs. Water pollution from agricultural runoff has contaminated many ground and surface waters. Africa. It is predicted that 25 African African countries will face either water stress or water, water scarcity by 2025. 19 out of the 25 countries in the world with the lowest access to clean water are in Africa. On all have the highest child mortality rates. There is a lack of groundwater protection from agricultural uses and there is a lack of risk preparedness and mitigation. Flooding, droughts and storms displace people and cause chronic health issues. Latin America and the Caribbean. Groundwater contamination and depletion from the increasing release of hazardous wastes from mining, agriculture and industry. Poor sanitation. Only 2% of the sewage in Latin America is treated. And economic scarcity, with conflict over access to and use of water. Under pressure. During the 20th century, the global population increased four times, but water consumption increased six times. This gap was caused by improved living standards, resulting from economic development. Increased access to water, flushing toilets, baths and showers has created demand for water that shows no sign of slowing. Increasing population and urbanisation. The world's population is growing by about 80 million per year and is predicted to reach 9.1 billion by 2050. But demand for water is rising twice as fast. Increasing urbanisation is causing more local pressure on the availability of fresh water, especially in drought prone areas. More than half of the world's population now lives in urban areas and urban populations are projected to increase to 6.3 billion by 2050. By 2030, the urban population in Africa and Asia is predicted to double, putting further pressure on water resources, improving living standards. The rising incomes and living standards of, of a growing middle class in developing and emerging economies has led to a sharp increase in water use which can be unsustainable. Changing consumption patterns such as increasing meat production, building larger homes and increased use of cars, appliances and energy consuming devices involves increased water consumption in both their production and use. Industrialisation. The OECD report Environmental Outlook to 2050 predicted that, water, that global water demand for manufacturing would increase by 400% from 2000-2050, far more than any other sector. Most of the increase will be in emerging economies and developing countries, with implications for both water supply and quality. Where water use is not well regulated, pollution could increase dramatically, with industrial spillage and poor waste management leading to contaminated groundwater and rivers. Agriculture. Agriculture is by far the largest use of water, consuming 70% and occasionally 90% in some developing countries. By 2050, global agriculture will need to produce 60% more food to meet the demands of the growing population. But current increase in agricultural, in agricultural demands for fresh water are unsustainable. The inefficient use of water for crop production is depleting the aquifers and reducing river flow, degrading wildlife habits, increasing pesticide and fertiliser production as they seep into groundwater and causing water logging and increased salinity. For example, groundwater supplies in Israel and Gaza are being contaminated by salt, as salt water is drawn into aquifers when fresh water is pumped out. Futures and uncertainties about water stress. As demand for water is rising, where will it all come from? Climate change will make some areas drier and others wetter creating drought in some places and floods in others. Using a range of computer models and socioeconomic scenarios, the World Resources Institute scored and ranked the likelihood of future water stress. 
Their map shows 33 countries are predicted to be facing extreme high levels of water stress by 2040. 14 of the most highly stressed countries are in the Middle East. This is one of the world's most water insecure regions. Countries there make heavy use of groundwater and desalinated seawater, but face major changes. Countries such as the USA, China and India also face insecurities. High water stress is expected to remain constant, but specific areas such as the southwest USA could see stress increase by 40 to 70 percent. Chile is also expected to become highly water stressed by 2040. It is likely to face a decrease in water supply due to rising temperatures and shifting rainfall patterns. Whatever the cause, extreme water stress means that countries are dependent on limited amounts of water and are both vulnerable to changes in supply, which threaten both water security and economic growth. And that is the end of episode eight. I hope you learned something. I hope you're taking something away from this. If you are, please do subscribe down below. It really helps me out. Share this with someone who you think might need it. And I will see you same time, same place next week, Monday, 4.30 p.m. Bye guys.